Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $87,116.43. In the past year I am up $29,895.02. Year to date for the year 2024 I am currently up $3,720.97. Today was another red day for me. During the day, I lost $3,823.71. After hours, I am up $362.58. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $200 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $438. I'm selling Disney $130 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $12. I'm selling Robinhood $16 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $736. I'm selling LUV $30 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $700. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return, I am down $306. I'm selling SoFi $10 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return, $1,020. I'm selling Verizon $39 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return $36. I'm selling Google $180 covered calls. These expire July 19. Total return $292. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $177.41. My average cost $98.95. Total return $23,541.57. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.72. My average cost $5.62. Total return $6,580.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $111.12. My average cost $60, total return $15,336. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $16.49. My average cost $17.53, total return, I am down $1,035. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $163.45. My average cost, $142.48. Total return, $2,097. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $67.83. My average cost, $57.70. Total return, $2,030. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $26.03. My average cost, $28.03. Total return, I am down $1,000. I have 200 shares of Verizon. Verizon is at $39.56. My average cost, $39.31. Total return, $50.10. This is a margin account. My margin total is $106,350.45. My margin used is $101,809.43, which leaves me with $4,541.02 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $40,648.78. That's this green buffer right here before I hit my margin call. My annual interest rate is 
The daily interest I am paying is $20.07. So another red day for me and the earnings have been not kind to me. So, so far I actually reported very good news during their earnings report, but they're down by a lot. In the past week, they're down over 11%. There are two companies that reported earnings today. PayPal was before the market opened and I think they reported lower than expected so the estimated was a dollar and 14 per share and the actual was a dollar eight per share so it was below expectations but i think there were other good news about it let's look at this article from yahoo finance how paypal capitalizes on value added services paypal reported its first quarter earnings raising its profit guidance for 2024 in the report, the company cites strong consumer demand. This is backed by a survey from LendingTree, which states that 29% of Americans plan on using buy now, pay later loans. Now, me personally, I do use PayPal for buy now, pay later loans, like PayPal Pay and Four, and also the PayPal Credit loans as well. I use both, so I'm part of the 29% of Americans who use buy now, pay later loans. And I guess that's the reason why it rose today, because people see a strong consumer demand for uh, PayPal services. But even then, I think it was at $72 and now it's back down to 67. Overall, the market was pretty red today. All my stocks, they were all red except for PayPal. Another company that reported earnings today was Amazon. They reported earnings after hours. And I think they actually beat on the expectations. So the estimated was 78 cents per share and the actual was 98 cents per share. So they actually exceeded expectations for their earnings. Let's read an article from Yahoo Finance. It says e-commerce giant Amazon reported better than expected earnings and revenue for the first quarter. Driven by tweaks in its logistic operations as well as growth in its advertising and cloud computing units, according to Amazon CEO Andy Jassy. So yeah, they reported better than expected earnings and revenue for the first quarter. However, the price, it did not jump up that high. It was down 3% during the day and overnight it's up 1%. So it really didn't go up that much, even though they beat on earnings and revenue. All right. I think that's all I have to report. I wanted to keep it short and sweet for this video because I'm not feeling that well, but I still wanted to get a video out there. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe and I'll keep on making more updates. Thank you. Bye.